Think of the way drugs used to be made. Aspirin. That's medication made by a chemist at a bench using small molecule chemistry. Bioprocessing is completely different. It's a paradigm shift. Nowadays, they're not small molecules. They're actually proteins that are complex molecules made inside of cells. So instead of just treating symptoms of a disease, we have the potential here to actually design medications that would in the future cure diseases permanently. The Jefferson Institute of Bioprocessing will create a much greater intersection between industry, academics, and healthcare. The interface between engineering and life sciences is bioprocessing. We have to use engineering principles to build on the scientific foundation and the discoveries that come through research. The future for pharmaceutical manufacturing is going to be in biologics. And we know that what large pharmaceutical firms really need to move forward is the talent. The National Institute for Bioprocessing Research and Training, or NIBERT, recognized that there was this pressing need to be able to train people for the biopharmaceutical industry. Out of that collaboration came our Jefferson Institute for Bioprocessing, which promises to be the training ground for the pharma industry here in the United States. Jefferson Institute for Bioprocessing is a 25,000 square foot physical facility. We can recreate the processes that people use in a manufacturing setting. It's really addressing directly the three E's the economics, the enrollment, and the esteem of the university. This will be an academic business unit, so it will generate revenue for the university. It's going to provide industry training for jobs better than most universities, so the enrollment will grow, and NYBIRD is the gold standard in this kind of training. So that will give us recognition and international esteem. The partnership with NYBIRD is focused on providing training and retraining of industry practitioners, people who are already in industry and want to advance their training. The expertise of JIB will give us an enormous advantage as a university and will bring considerable know-how and expertise to the region that other universities will be able to avail themselves of. So what are some of your majors? Industrial design. Fashion Merchandising and Management. Bella? MBA. MBA major, okay. Bianca? Biology. Biology, okay, great. Well, there's a lot of connections. Bioprocessing hits almost every combination of majors that we have at the combined university. There's business models, there's supply chain economics, there's issues associated with almost every major. If you think about how a Jefferson Institute of Bioprocessing happens, it requires chairs in different departments to all work together. You're going to go into that place, you're not going to know is the Department of Chemistry, is the Department of Design, is the Department of Medicine. Everybody's working together, it's Jim. One of the, the dreams of mine for this facility is I want to walk in in a few months and see some community college students in there supplementing their community college associate degree, standing next to some of our bachelor's, master's students, standing next to the industry professionals who are back in for a three-day workshop, and they're all working together in the room at the same time. What I want is 20 jibs. I want 20 Jefferson Institutes of Bioprocessing across all fields, across all industries. I want it to be in this area. I want it to be national. I want it to be international. I want our students to work in real life settings that set them up to be really, really successful in the future. The excitement of working on molecules, on drugs and medicines, it, you know, you can't get better than that working on a medicine that you know will help a patient, to be able to see a drug out there that you've had something to do with and you know it's helping people is what keeps the excitement alive. You have access to this incredibly comprehensive and creative university that's willing to take a no-limits approach even beyond what you see in that bioprocessing technology. Anything that you want to work with, whether it's engineering or business or medicine or design, we can redefine what's humanly possible.